You getting her there? No. Go on the back side and give it a boot. I'll give it a boot. Oh yeah, look at that. There's still that other tire wrapped in there. That's that's handy. Hey, you ready? Yeah. Get her? Does it need another one? Stiff. Ready? Ha! Oh, Lee. Need a kick on the top side. Ready? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Did you forget one of the wedges on? <laughs> I need the footage, Tuan. I figured out why Tuan could we couldn't get her here. Fucking old valve stems in there. You gonna try to turn the hub? Ooh! <laughs> try again. There we go. Is that out? No. Yeah, a little more. There it is. Betcha comes off now. Maybe. <laughs> Okay, ready? Oh, progress. Nice and black. I had some people ask in here what this is sticking off the filter. I don't like hell I'm going to be able to do this with. Well, maybe I can do it with one hand. There. Let's you drain your oil filter. Juan, did you drop your wrench? I get it. Let's say and drain your oil filter instead of having all the oil that's in the filter just puke all over the side of the engine. So anyway, I'll go get Twan his wrench now, I guess. Oh, Did you get her finally? Yep. Oh, maybe you're gonna try and go three for three and drop them on the ground again. No? Nope. Too bad they can't hear you talk even though I zoom in on you. Gonna be old, old right John there. Old right John. <laughs> you got right Twan and right John. <laughs> Gotta catch you when you're pissed off and cursing and swearing and ranting and raving, throwing wrenches across the yard, kicking the dog. <laughs> we'll save that video for when they phone tell Antoine his wheat is a three. Right? <laughs> Feed. Feed wheat. No dockage that way, just like the organics. <laughs> At least that's what the organic farmer says anyway from across the road. <laughs> <clears throat> oh, 
well, I thought I was videoing there, but I wasn't. But anyway, as I was to demonstrate by actually draining the filter in the housing there, it doesn't uh, leak a whole bunch of oil everywhere. Like usually you see these tractors and they're just packed with fucking engine oil and everything else in around the toolboxes because of this, which is kind of a stupid setup having the filter lay on its side like that. But anyway, now. We got a nice new one here for it. There. So I'll get that put on. Uh, mark down how many hours are at this change. I think it's at 11,000. So we'll mark that down and uh, dump some fresh oil in her. for a second and see if we need to give her a little bit more I think we will but see where we're at because I'm just dumping the pail in it holds it holds a pail so it's usually pretty easy to change the oil in so <laughs> doesn't need much math 1011 engine hours on her low hour 4640 right Tuan Low hours, it's only got 1,011 original hours on it. It's owned by John Deere himself. <laughs> ah, some days. <laughs> I dropped the dipstick on the ground. Whatever shall we do? I have to restart the engine oil change now. Focus. Just getting on the tip. So we'll give her some more, I guess. Alrighty, I got the oil in. Now. Like instead of just starting it, I always, uh, I'll try to do it one hand, I hold the fuel shut off and just crank it until I see oil pressure and then I'll start it, so. the old starter a rest. It's easier on it than uh, having it banging away with no oil in it. I don't know. Just what, what we do and it seems to work. There. Okay. Oil pressure so Let's have a let's have a cold start. Maybe. It's really cold out. <laughs> that's getting low on me here so I'm gonna move it to a place a little easier for the air compressor to get at but I'm gonna let her percolate for a few minutes here before we do that I want to lift the feeder housing off the ground and put the header lock on I forgot to bring the wrench but I gotta come back again tomorrow anyway I've got a 
flat pickup tire. So I'll get that off and changed. And then uh, Juan bolted them on there while I done the oil change. He's got to bring uh, he's going to bring a three ton home. So we're going to turn some grain here again. That that wheat that's on air just to check in on and see how it is doing. So anyway, if you're wondering what oil I put in there. This good old 1540 from the old co-op there. So I don't know. They got the cheap shit in town, so good enough. Oil's oil. I'll buy the PV Mart stuff, the Shell brand, whatever. If it's on sale, it's good enough for me. <laughs> but I'm gonna give her a moment to percolate and uh, I'll talk to you again here in a few. There, I let her percolate for a few minutes. I forgot my rag in the cab. I'll grab another one, but let it run for a few minutes there. So we can, uh, I'm going to pull the dipstick again. Now that the filter and the pump and the oil galleries, everything's full of oil again. We'll check our level again to make sure we're not overdoing it or underdoing it. Right on the money, honey. It's almost like I've changed oil in these guys before to know how much they hold, so. <laughs> there, fresh oil, so. It'll be uh, ready to go for the rest of harvest here and then uh, a little bit of fall field work if we ever get a chance to do that. I'm kind of having my doubts, but that thing there is trying to do its thing, but it's got a long ways to go. It's, it's friggin' cold out here right now, so. They got snow in the forecast and a bunch of rain, so that's just dandyful. Anyway, what do you do? This canola is pretty well pooched here anyway. This is uh, where we moved to the other night. We finished off that other field. I'm going to drive over to the canola. This is where I had hail, and uh, I'm going to show you what happens to swath canola when it gets hailed on. So here's one of the swaths. This, uh, there wasn't as much hail over here, but as there was across that side, but it's still really bad. I'll grab a plant here and I'll show you. So you see how those, that's what the pod should look like. And you can see the plant, it's all smashed, all gone. And then at the bottom, there's some again. So like these ones here, the bottom of the swath, the pods are still there, so what uh, the hail adjusters were out yesterday and this part of the field here had 85%, 85% of what was there is now gone. And over there where we were combining a 62%, which I argued should have been more, but you know how hail adjusters are, so. <laughs> anyway, whatever, I, uh, it is what it is, so. It's still, it's running about 20 maybe maybe <laughs> so uh at least there is still something i know uh, the guys who had the straight cut standing canola theirs is totally gone because it didn't have the top part of a swath to protect the rest of it it was standing so the whole thing is just shredded like what these parts of the swaths here that were standing up you can see shredded so oh well here's what it is you can tell how much was lost look at it growing that's all of it that got shelled out and then it all landed on the ground. And with all the rain, it's growing now. And it's not header loss from swath or anything. As you look in between here and there's nothing. And then under the swath, it's all there. So that's from the hail. So, oh well, guy didn't want to make too much money in a year. You don't want to pay off all your bills. That takes away the fun of it, so. <laughs> Anyway, whatever. I didn't move the tractor. I think I'll just bring the service truck right out and blow the filters and shit on everything here tomorrow. It's uh, not supposed to rain today or tomorrow. If this is as warm as it is, we still won't be able to combine tomorrow. It would be nice, but if the sun comes out in the morning, maybe, but 
I, uh, I kind of have my doubts on that, but anyway, I suppose I think Antoine's off with the green truck, so I'll talk to you here in a few, maybe. Well, that's about all I've got to tell you about today, I think, so. <laughs> Yesterday is Sophia's second birthday, so I got her birthday present here with me. Hey, Panther. Hey, Panther. One of Grandpa Henry's old cats there had a couple kittens there this summer, so she really likes this black one. She calls him yellow, but I named him Panther, so. <laughs> so he's gonna come home with me here right now, and where are you going there, buddy? <laughs> anyway, so I'm gonna head on home, I guess. Make sure you uh, hit that like button, subscribe for more. Go uh, go check out my buddy there at Straight Pipe Acres. And try to try to get him some more subscribers there. We'll see. There's gonna be a crossover episode coming here one of these days. So make sure you uh, go check him out there so you don't miss out on that. But anyway, thank you all for watching. Leave a comment. We'll talk to you in the next one.